here to support um, OCC, and we're really here to talk about um, how healthcare and the changes that are being made are going to affect our family and countless other families. So the way it stands now, of course, it's been pushed back. There's a delay, so there'll be no vote this week. But the way it's laid out now, how would that good news, bad news, or what? How does that affect, how does propose affect you guys? The new proposal, as it looks, it sounds glossy, but the true impacts um, will impact our family. It was working the way it was. We were able to get affordable health care for Winston, who has had over 20 surgeries and treatments. And now the way it's going to be, it's going to be left up to states, and it's going to be um, not pretty. We lost everything prior to the ACA. Um, it enabled us to get everything back and get him the care he needs. Um, just do not take it away. And it's a human moment. This isn't about who you voted for or any of that. It's about families and people and real stories. So these folks will be, I guess, on the phone talking to people. So what are you going to be telling people? The, the whole point is to educate yourself. If you're watching this, don't go by what any news media tells you. Just educate yourself on how it will impact you. What do you want to say? Hi. <laughs> yes, he has Michelle, a favorite weather Michelle, woman, Michelle yeah. Bogowitz. He, he, he loves her. But, Winston, what would we tell people who are watching this? What could we tell them to do? Work together. Work together. That's all we need is every human person to work together, educate yourself, and care enough, even if it doesn't impact your family yet. So would you like changes in the health care, or would you like to go back to back to the way it was before, or what? We just want a fair shot. Um, we want to be able to have health care for our son and not beg and borrow like we used to have to prior to the ACA. Um, it needs tweaking, for sure. It needs a little bit of help, but it hasn't got that, and the power has gone back to the insurance companies and the politicians. It's a call to action. Do your part as a citizen, as a human, because you never know when it'll affect you. You've touched everything. You know, you know I can't go long. You know, yeah. that. But anything we haven't talked about that you wanted to bring up or a point that you wanted yeah. to make? It, look, I, I, I want to reiterate, it's a human thing. This is a living human being who deserves everything in the way that he needs his health care. He is not a commodity. He is not a a throwaway because he's expensive. $1.5 million a year when he was first born for the first three years. Do not do this. Can you briefly talk about your son's condition and what you've had to go through? So Winston was born with two rare malformations and it's pure luck of the draw. There's no reason it happened. And it was just like all of a sudden destiny decided we were to go on a different journey. And um, we were, I have a master's degree and I'm educated, so. Yeah. And we, we went on a different journey. Jenna just won a national TV show. And um, we found out we were pregnant with this young star. And um, it, was, it was fine. TV was done, we were gonna raise a child. But then we found out he was gonna have issues. And then he, we found out he was gonna have massive issues. And then we found out that we were gonna last two years on the insurance before they kicked us off. And they kicked us off, and there was no mercy, and we lost everything. Our houses, our cars, not houses, we only had one house, <laughs> <laughs> but our cars. We lost absolute, we were homeless. Medical sh stuff shouldn't destroy you. No, it shouldn't. Medical should not destroy a family. Yeah. And so many people get divorced when they go through a special needs or a sickness. It's ridiculous, and that should not happen. It shouldn't happen. What we went through should not happen to anyone. It shouldn't happen to him, it should not happen to us. We don't go for pity party, but man, it was tough. I bet so. Excuse my ignorance, which yeah. show were you, were you on? Um, it's on HGTV, it's called Design Star. Oh, okay. Five million people, blah, yes. blah, blah. So. Yeah, okay. But now I'm on a show on Lifetime Channel, so. What is yeah. that? It's called Military Makeover with the guy from Full Metal Jacket and stuff. All right, well, Emery. R. Lee. Oh, yeah. I always get his name wrong. SpongeBob. <laughs> he, Sponge, he, he's he was in on SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Yes, he was. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's in everything. No, we appreciate you being here. Yeah, you thank you so much. Like, yeah, I'm sorry I can't spend more time.